Hey guys, Ragnar back again. This time, as you can tell, we're in the kitchen. Which means no beard product. Not yet anyway. You've seen in my last video that there are products to come. Just not today. Today, we have a special guest. Kind of. I wish she was an actual special guest. I fucking think the guy's amazing. Eddie Hall's products. Don't get too excited. I've only got the patella straps and something else. So that's only two of all this stuff. But um, I wanted to do a little video because I suffer really bad with knee pain, knee strain, shit knees in general, granddad knees, ball bag knees, you fucking name it. My knees play me up something chronic. So I've had these for a while and I've been giving them the best test I could. So that I could do a video on them and give you the best review I could. Because I like to be fucking honest. I really do. I don't like saying bullshit. So I don't do it. You deserve better than bullshit, so I won't give you bullshit. And I can say, this ain't no bullshit. First off, I'm going to get right into the only little tiny itty bitty gripe I've got. I bought the set. So I have one here, there's one on my leg. I will show you that I have got one on my leg. They're both righties, which means this is always gonna be on this side. So when you put it on your left leg, that's on the outside of the leg, not the inside, which, unless, I, c I can't for some reason, I can't use my right hand to do that when it's on my left leg. I can't do it, I tried, it just fucks me over. It's like when you're a kid and you're trying to figure out a mirror. But other than that, absolutely amazing. All I do is, I'm not bothered. Nobody sees them because I'm underneath my clothes. I just wear it upside down. And then this puts that on the right side. And, the, well, yeah, the right side. Both versions of the right side. It puts it on the inside of your leg and the right side of the leg. So, I can then do it that way. Just means I can get it tight and make sure that it's properly secure. Now... The only problem I've had is because I wear these a lot, long days, like 13 hour shift days, a lot of bending, going up and down stairs, kneeling, you name it. I've done it all in these. And like I said, 13 hour shifts, 10 hour shifts, you name it. I've done it in them. They've been absolutely fucking phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. My legs haven't felt so strong in years. So that's why I'm doing a video on them. I thought, if anybody out there is suffering like I suffer, and I suffer big, big, then they're worth giving a go. Um, they've got a nice little doodad deal up. I don't know if you can see that. It's got some nice rigid foam. It just helps keep the patella tendon right where it's supposed to be, tucked underneath the knee, so it stops it wiggling and moving around. You can get these hella tight. Hella tight. To the point where I've actually caused myself to bleed. Because, of, like I say, my knees hurt that much. This little strap here has rubbed the back of my legs raw. To the point of split skin. But that's me. That's a user error, not a product error. Because, like I say, I have worn them probably four times longer than you're actually supposed to. But hey, got to get a job done, right? Need to get paid. So these... Highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. Like I said, I was trawling the internet for about an hour and a half looking at these things, like all over Amazon, all different types of sports websites. And I got bored of looking because they all look like trash, like absolute trash. So I flicked on one of Eddie Hall's training videos. I will throw all of his links to his websites and Instagram and YouTube jobbies in the description, as I always do. And he was promoting these. They were on a pre-sale. So I went, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get some. A man in Eddie O's position that's going to throw his name on something, you best believe the product is going to be good. Because it's his name on the line. Well, guess what? The fucking product is good. So I got some. See? I got two. Here's my other one. Doing its job. Fine and dandy. 
Eat that bad boy. So I don't mess you around. If I'm doing it, I'll do it. I'll tell you. Nah. Part two. He does munches. So I went into my local B&M and there was this bad boy on the shelf. There was 12 in it. I took 10. Then I walked a little bit further. There was this bad boy on a clip strip. That's the things that hang down that you pull it off, like you get your port scratchings and all that kind of jazz on. I took 10. There was 11 on the shelf. But I thought, 10's a better number. And they fit in the box. So I took the box. <laughs> Why not? Just to prove it to you, I'll let you count, look. You ready? There you go, look. There's that one. The two different flavours are barbecue and original. Not tried them yet, I've been waiting for you guys. But again, look. There's your ten. Like I said, don't mess you around. So for me, I absolutely love jerky. I love it. Can't get enough of it. So when I saw that these products had made it to my local B&M, of course I got them. Sorry, these ones are stuck to some sellotape. That's me. I secured it all with sellotape. It's not them, honest. Give me the... So, I'll show you this one. It's packaging. Great packaging. I think they're, they're a quid in B&M. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're a quid. So, you're welcome, Eddie All. You've got all the nutritional values and stuff on the back. It's like, fuck all in it. Fat, 0.4. Of saturates, 0.17. Carbohydrates, 0.44. Sugars, 0.42. Fiber, 0.05. Protein, 10.5. As it says up here, look, it's got 10 grams of shit. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at his ugly mug. Look at that. And then salt is 0.6. So it's allergen and gluten free. There's no MSG. It's low fat, very low fat. High in protein, very high in protein. No added preservatives and no nitrates. Can't fault the guy. So let's see how easy it rips. Look at that. Can't get much of a cleaner rip than that. Look. Look at that. That's your biltong. Biltong's not quite the same as jerky. It's a better cut of beef. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's fucking phenomenal. Whereas jerky's like squares with a slice it, build tongs thinner. So you end up with more little chunks like this. I can safely say I'd eat Eddie's meat all day long. I'm back, bloody camera died. Say. It's a shit camera. I'm broke. Deal with it. So as I was saying, that is for me, not for you. Look, that's your nice chunk of meat. Look at it. The marble in. Look at that. It's good stuff. Very good stuff. I highly recommend. It. So, that's that. I'd like to thank you very much for coming. I started now, look, you see. Can't fucking stop. This is good shit. This is good shit. Well worth it. Um, I just want to do something different. Just in case, like I say, any of you out there were struggling with knee pain. These things have been great. All they do is, you get your patella tendon that runs down across your knee and then this just locks it so it can't do this which is normally why your leg hurts because it's moving like this and it's not supposed to be so it locks it straight in place 
well worth a go. Go and have a goosey gander. Not going to stuff my face on Biltong and ingest Eddie Hall's meat. As always, it's an honour to have you here. I love you.